When we come back, we'll meet the woman who is going to break the world's record for having sex. Are with those the... guys back? Yeah, the guys are back, and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of excitement in the room. You're going to meet a, wo a woman who will have sex with 300 men. The current record is 231, and she will beat it by 69 men. Get it? I wonder has she been in training, because how you know you can handle that many men? It's one day of pain, just like when I had my breasts done. It's a few days of pain. It's just one day of looking at these idiots who come all the way to L.A. to get late. I'm excited about this. Oh, I see you put on your glasses. Put on my glasses. sunglasses so I'll look better for this woman. It sounds like, you know, you could have kept the other glasses on. She pretty much <laughs> likes men. <laughs> yeah, she's sure, she's sure better. <laughs> uh, this is Jasmine St. Clair. Real name. Yeah. <laughs> she was born Jasmine St. Clair. Her parents knew that she'd be servicing over 300 guys. Oh. They must be proud that she's going for the record. Let me take a look. Let's see. Mmm. I'll take that. Oh, stand up. Let me look at you. Wow. What a bod. See? Yeah. What are you going to do? You going to take your clothes off? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to take my top off. Gary, get the microphone on her. I'm sorry. I've got mesmer. What are you going to do? I'm just going to take my top off. Go ahead. Let's you see. see. Yeah. Wow, what a top. Implants, huh? Yep. Super. What did you go from, like a B cup to a what? No, from an A cup to a D cup. Wow. Quite a switch, huh? Yeah. Did your life change? Yeah, I'm getting more dates now. That's oh, I it. bet. Look at your body. <laughs> hey, turn around. Let me see your ass. My ass? Yeah. I have stockings on. I don't care. Wow. Why'd you wear stockings? Because it's cold outside. No, it's not. It's cold. Oh, what a baby. <laughs> Where is she from? Where are you from? California. Oh, no wonder you can't handle the cold. Uh-uh. What's your yeah. measurements? 36, 23, 34. And what, have you been in porno movies already? Yeah, I'm under exclusive contract with Amazing Pictures. Oh, you are with Amazing? Yeah. I almost went with that. <laughs> how many pictures have you made? Um, I've done seven pictures so far. And how long have you been doing this? Since last September. Really? Well, they crank yeah. them out, don't they? Yeah, how old are you? <laughs> 23. 23? Now, how did you get into this line of work? You seem like a, you know, like a regular girl. Uh... My manager. Your manager got you he into it? talked me into all of this. Really? What were you doing before? I used to work in an office on Wall Street. I can't say which one. Right. Why? I just, in case anyone's listening from the office, I just don't want them to know what I'm doing now. Right. You'd like to keep up that old image. Were right. you a stockbroker? That's close to it, actually. I, I was an investment banker prior to this. I used to work at the trade desk. Wow. What wow. a body. And you knew you always had a good body and you had power over men, no, right? No, I didn't, because my ex-fiance would always put me down about that, so... Were you dancing at strip clubs or anything? I mean, all of a no. sudden you just got into porno? How'd you get no. a manager and everything? Well, I met him at a Pure Platinum. I went to the Pure Platinum with some friends of mine. All right, let me get this straight. Here you were, you, were a, a, you lived in New York, right? Right. Okay. And you were a stockbroker. Kind investment of. Banker. Investment banker. Okay, investment banker. And did you have your A cups back then? Or your... I had my A cups, but then I went up to a B cup that With summer. an implant? Yeah, just because I wanted them bigger, just so I could look better in clothes. Right. And it's just a natural thing. And, right. Um, no, it's not natural, but it's who cares. Yeah, really. Right. I just like them. So. so while you were the stockbroker, you made your B, you went into B cups. Right. And uh, <laughs> But you always had this really great body, right? Right. Right, okay. It's always the same. And guys didn't pay that much attention to you. Did no, you wear short did. little dresses like this? They did, but I like certain... Surfers. I like rocker types, so I just like me, the right? Guys. Me, you yeah, like? like your type. Yeah. I love you, Howard. Yeah, I like to go. I've out with always you. liked you. I'd go out with you. Had you made love to a lot of guys before you? No. When you when you were on the stock exchange, how many? Like, what age did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity at 18. You did, yeah. and uh, you didn't have like a lot of boyfriends and stuff. No, I didn't. In high school, I was really well reserved. My parents kept such a strict hold on me. I mean, I wasn't allowed to date at all. So what are you, Italian? Yeah, French and Italian. Yeah, so. that's what Robin is. I wasn't allowed to go out with anyone. I wasn't allowed to go out at night. My curfew, get this, was at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Let me tell you something. A lot of these girls with a strict upbringing end up in they porno. They go wild. Yeah, they yeah. go wild. Isn't it yeah. terrible? Yeah. yeah. Now, what did you think of porno growing up? Did you think it was disgusting? That's and... disgusting. They're a bunch of prostitutes. Yeah. They're right. a bunch of hoes. And I would never do that. Right. And look at what's going on now. I mean, 300 guys. That's a lot. Yeah, you're oh. going to handle 300 hundred guys. Yeah, yeah, I am. yeah. And you're really cute. Oh, thanks. I mean, well, we're going to get to that in a minute because I want to understand the psychological motivation here. Okay. And, you, and your father is dead? How'd you know my father is dead? He's got to be. There's no way you do this if your father isn't dead. He certainly well, couldn't I have live a through this. Father, my yeah. natural father died, but my stepfather. Your real father couldn't live through something like you. No. You, you doing a movie with 300 no. guys. By the way, this woman, uh, Jasmine St. Clair, uh -huh. is. Um, 
is going to service 300 men. I don't know to break if that's possible. Yes, well, it is. Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> not only is it possible, I saw... How do you know? I'll tell you how I know. <laughs> okay. The previous record holder... Ew. Yeah. What do you mean, ew? Those were only 70 guys in that movie. Wrong. It was 200... It was 70, and they kept rotating them. I saw the movie three times. I saw the movie, and um, yes, it's true they had to rotate some of the guys because some of the guys couldn't uh, get aroused. <laughs> I have the previous record holder here. You're going to meet her. Really? I know Annabelle. I'm friends You know her. Annabelle? Yeah, I give her a ride every time to the movie set whenever we have to go to... Oh, you do? Yeah. Bring in Annabelle. Let's bring her in. Whoa! Did you actually like it? Yeah. You did? I like rough sex. You do? Yeah. Good for you. It was the best of times and the worst. It was the 80s. I'm tired of being portrayed as a first-class bitch. Greed was good. Let's get down to the cash. Hair was big, and so were the shoulder pads. Yeah. And a family called the Carringtons ruled. I think you're a lying bastard. Now we live all the corruption, conspicuous consumption, and catty comments. Your days are numbered, Bimbo. Dynasty, The Reunion, Part 1. Saturday, September 14th, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Only on E. On September 13th, take a risk. Jean Claude Van Damme, Natasha Henstridge of Species. Don't even think about going to sleep. We got a lot of catching up to do. Maximum risk rated R at theaters Friday. Take a ride back to the old school with unforgettable music from. Here she is. I brought her in the previous is record she holder. She? Yeah, she's here. I'm gonna. I I'm gonna no introduce idea her. this is happening. Oh yeah, it's a little surprise. <laughs> she's here to coach uh, Jasmine. Uh, is that right? That's right. Actually, what I do is every men's club I appear at, like I'll be appearing at Teasers in Mayo Pack, New York. Here she is. That's the previous record. I saw her movie. Oh, yeah. That's really? Annabelle. There, Annabelle, getting uh, close. Yeah. Wow, you got a hot little body too. I saw your movie. She actually, you know, she's a pretty Annabelle. conservative looking woman, Asian mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. And you serviced 250, what was it? 251, I was serviced by 200, 251 guys. 251 guys simultaneously, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. What do you mean simultaneously? <laughs> what she did was she was handling three and four guys at a time. Well, that's Five guys? Oh Five guys at a time. That's yeah. not 251 simultaneously. Yeah, they get 251 together, they're, they're going to have a rugby match. Now, Jasmine, <laughs> you, you plan on servicing each guy one at a time. Yeah, one. well, no, I could do more than one at a time. You will do more than one yeah, at a I'll time. I'll do more than one at a time. I do more than one at a time in my movie, so it's not... Have right. you done girls in your movie? I haven't done girls in my movies yet, no. Right, right. Oh, you haven't done any of that? No, not so, yet. So let me get this straight before we get to the actual contest, because okay. uh, maybe you can offer some tips since you've done it already, all right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Was it painful, by the way? Um, not really. No. Uh, apart from the fact that most of the guys don't get manicures. And they don't get manicures. Oh, oh yeah. I see. Yeah. Right. Oh, I see. I see. So when, they, when they're when they a little rough with you guys. So that's a tip you would give. Make sure the men yeah. file down. Yeah, file oh, what about down. wearing gloves? Now, obviously, you, you, your father died at an early age, and you know that you're looking for male approval, right? You're looking for your father um, in all of this. Is no, there some psychological reason? Have you no, taken it's psych not. 101? I've taken psych 101. What about you? Your father dead, too? Huh? Is your father dead? How about yours? No, he's, my father's alive. My father's alive. Yours is alive? Yeah, he's Does alive. He know, did he see that movie where you're servicing? Not yet. He hasn't seen oh, it. no. Okay. He hasn't seen it. Uh, he hasn't seen it. He so will. They, do they know what you do? Because your, your father's Chinese, right? Yeah, he's Chinese. Oh, man. Chinese hate that. Yeah. Did you come from, a strict, did you come from a strict Chinese family? Yeah. You did? Very middle class. If you ever saw this picture that Annabelle Chong is in, did you see it, Robin? No, where would you I didn't, see it? You didn't watch it on Friday with us? <laughs> no, where were you? Oh, you I, left. I left early. Oh, holy mackerel. <laughs> holy mackerel? It's the dirtiest movie you ever saw. There's nothing pornographic. I mean, there's nothing sexy about it. I mean, she literally comes out, takes her clothes off, and starts servicing 200-something guys. And the work begins. Yeah, and I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, fun? I, try it. I felt like it was torture for you. Did you actually like it? Yeah. You did? I like rough sex. You do? 
Yeah. Good for you. Let me take a break, girls. Okay, okay. Take a commercial break. When we come back, there's a bunch of guys out here who want to audition for the movie, number one. Number two, I want to find out what the hell this is really about. You're going to serve as 300 guys in a row? I want to know. Can you take a break when you do this? Yeah. You're supposed to take breaks, aren't you? Yeah. For uh, cigarettes yeah. and stuff. You took breaks for cigarettes? Yeah. How, how many hours did it take you to service 200? About, um, about 10 hours. 10 hours? Yeah, but if you minus all the cigarette breaks, it's, say, nine. Nine hours. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You stop to eat and stuff? Yeah. You do. So how long do you think it's going to take you to do 300? Well, it took you 10 hours with breaks. I'll take breaks for water, so probably... And you... 12 hours. Yeah? That's realistic, yeah. isn't wow. it? Yeah. Wow. So, so you're gonna, you need 300 men to service you? I need 300 men to service me, that's right. So, so the reason for coming down here today is that uh, if there's some guys in our audience, you, what are you going to do? You're going to look them over? Yeah, you, what do you, you use as criteria? Annabelle, you didn't, seem to be too <laughs> you didn't seem to be too discriminating. I mean, you pretty much took everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not about boy meets girl. It's about an orgy. Orgy? Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Fafa Fui? Well, I thought it was funny because, you know, I saw Annabelle's movie, and you figure, you know, 200 some odd guys, you never even get to look at them, you know, who cares? But um, Jasmine said, I said, you know, we have guys coming down. She goes, oh, are they cute? Because I want cute guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a, a breaking like this sound barrier yeah. or something. This is like the Apollo 13 of sex. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shaka Khan. No, I'm not. From comedian to... Where is her I'm gonna... father and mother? Are they going to be at the set? Yeah. No. Do you invite them? No. Do they know you're doing this? No, I would be in the back of a milk carton if they knew. They do. Now, do they, what do they think you do for a living? They think that I sell franchises for a living, but they know that I do nude pictures here and there because my mother picked up a playgirl. I did a guy-girl layout. Right. She was so busy looking at the guy, it took her like three times to see that it was me in the picture with the guy. Well, what happens when they saw that it was you? Were they upset? She freaked out and she called me. She left like seven messages <laughs> on my answering machine. And she I'm was like, yelling. Oh my goodness. I'm like, cool down. It's not so bad. It could be worse. It is going to be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> now, when's the last time you spoke to your mom? Um, oh my God, I'm due to call her today. Do you hate your mom? No, not at you all. You don't? Do you I hate your stepdad? Yeah. You do? Yeah, there's something going on here. I mean, <laughs> I don't mean I to mean, get... it would, like, no. kill your mother if she knew, well, right? She's not going to find out. How's she going to find it? I'll, ask, I'll just ask you her. You weren't molested at a young age, were you? No, never. Never? Never molested. What about you, Annabelle? Were you? Uh, no. What uh, about you? Oh, well, I molested people at a young age. You molested people at a young age? Yeah. But did you ever get molested? No. You never did? No. Uh, something happened to you, too, honey. Yeah. I saw your movie. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Sweetheart, something happened to you. Yeah, I got laid. Yeah. Well, yeah, you did, but, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> you know John is listening to us this morning. Uh, Who's John? John Bowen. Yeah. Who's that? John Tebow, and he's the one he's that does director. all my movies, yeah. I see. Yeah. All right, girls, now listen to me. Uh -huh. Let me uh, take a break. Okay. We'll bring guys in. Maybe Annabelle can offer you some advice. You know, if she likes cute guys, I think she's going to reject every guy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, who I'll do you think is going to be in a porno anybody movie? Anybody could come down. Well, there's some good-looking guys in porno. Yeah, but they get paid. Yeah, but even the ugly guys get paid, too. But that's why they get paid half the rate, the good-looking guys Let me ask you do. something, Annabelle. When you've done this, what she's about to do, and she's about to break your world record. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel competitive about this? Do you feel like... Do you feel like you want to get back in the rack with a bunch of guys to beat her record well, now? Well, I'm looking forward to, to her beating my record, because then I can have, you know, a challenge with her. I can get laid again. <laughs> I see. No, be, actually, you, no, be honest with me. You actually liked being serviced by all those guys? Yeah, I do. You do? It's sort of kinky, actually. It, I know it is, it's but... Very kinky. <laughs> it's sort of kinky, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, don't you get a little uh, irritated after? I know if, if uh, I mess around with my wife for more than like 15 minutes, she gets irritated. I mean, don't, oh, really? don't you, yeah, you don't get irritated after a while? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sort of like, you know, I think I, I'm, I'm a gay man trapped in a girl's body. I see. So you love sex with men. <laughs> I love sex with girls, too. Right. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. All right. Jasmine. Yeah. You don't seem as uh, hardcore as Annabelle. Yeah. I mean, this is, this has got to be making you nervous. It's not. It's not. I'm just going to treat it just like another day. <laughs> I, you know, like, I can't imagine, you know, like her first uh, porno film. That must have been. Oh, it was great. It got best, uh, bestseller of the month last month in AVN magazine. Well, yeah. wait a second. Have your parents seen the, the uh, porno they movies? They haven't seen anything. No, they don't know they she does it. Seen the movie. Your mama has no idea. Has no idea what's it. They don't watch pornos. They're not that type of people. I see. But you think someone who did would say, hey, wait a second. I know this girl. 
Um, and they mail it to your parents or something. I hope not. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> Annabelle Chong, the, the current world yeah. champion at this sex. <laughs> and Jasmine St. Clair, who's going to... like the sexual Olympics. It, it is. This is, like two, this is two very experienced women who, you know, are, are breaking, like, this sound barrier yeah. or something. This is like the Apollo 13 of sex. <laughs> uh, yes, Jasmine St. Clair, we'll be back with you. We'll introduce you to some of the men who want to have sex with you. <laughs> And uh, we'll uh, find out from Annabelle what it's like to go through this ordeal right after these words. You want us to get naked? Well, maybe. Let's oh, see what okay. the guys... The guys might feel more comfortable if they could see you naked. Jackie Martling's Sergeant... Now, before you're going to go to uh, service these 300 guys, Jasmine... Right. You consulted a doctor on this? Yeah, he told me to take Floxin tablets. That's an antibacterial. Mm -hmm. So he said to take it two days prior to the movie. The day of the movie, take a double dosage. And two days after the movie to continue the cycle. Now, what is Floxin? Floxin prevents bacteria from growing in... Um, strange places? Strange places. Mm -hmm. And now, what about AIDS testing? Everybody who's mm -hmm. going to be in the movie will have to be tested, right? Yeah, they'll have to have tested. I see. And will these guys wear condoms when they are with yeah, you? Yeah, they to. will. Yep. Extra now, I noticed when you did your movie, Annabelle, with the 250-something guys, mm -hmm. some of them had condoms and some of them didn't. Right, those are professionals. So, oh, so the ones that oh, don't have so the, the condoms. Oh, professionals will wear condoms. Yes, that's right. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, well, I'm learning all kinds of things. I didn't know that. All right, now, Jasmine, uh, when are you making this movie? April 28th. April 28th, you will be the world record holder, hopefully, right? I'll do it, yeah. Yeah, and you're nervous. Now, no, what I'm is not the setting? I mean, where will you um, be? It'll be where yours was, Annabelle. Uh, yeah, it's the South Station. The South Hollywood. Station in Hollywood. Will it be the same set, that Roman, uh, with those Roman... No. You should have seen the set. It yeah. might be a wrestling rink or something like a... Uh -oh. They. That's why they're keeping the outfits we had on for the photo shoot. Right. It's probably going to be a wrestling rink. Uh, why don't we bring in a couple other guys who want oh, to come cool. down and meet you? I can't you. wait to see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you can oh, be oh, honest. Uh, you, now, will you tell them right away whether or not they can be in the movie? Yeah, I will. Okay. Can you help me measure their pants? Well, don't don't measure. Oh, I don't know if they're going to pull on their pants. No, but you can well, ask them. Well, oh, maybe they will. Yeah. All right. So that makes a difference, too? Well, I'd just like to know ahead of time. Well, come to think of it, a guy should be able to pull down his pants in front of us if he's going to be in a porno yeah, movie. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. To say he shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> right. And you have no problem getting naked, girls? You like being naked? Yeah, yeah it's no problem. Yeah, no problem? We'll maybe get the, naked, too. What yeah, maybe the guys naked? will want to see that. What, do you want us to get naked? Well, maybe. Let's oh, see what okay, the guys... Cool. The guys might feel more comfortable if they could see you naked. Yeah. You want them all in? How do you want to bring them in a few... Like, uh, bring, four, bring, four uh, five? bring one at a time okay. or two at a time. Why did you round up? How many guys do we have? We only, we only have, we have about eight guys oh. here because we couldn't handle that many guys. Oh, really? Now, you yeah. saw um, the other movie was... was Every guy in the movie just like an average guy? Yeah, they were pretty average. Okay. I mean, they weren't like yeah. super good-looking guys or anything. It was there pretty were funny. They were super good-looking. <laughs> All right, now this is... Uh Oh, here you go. Ah, yeah. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Right, come here. Right, right, wait a second. Come here. Now, now stand over there, Gary. Have them by the door. What, what is your name, sir? Vito. That's oh, Vito. Yeah. Vito. Vito. The Vito the Midget, right? Yeah. Now, now, Vito. I mean, Vito. You're the guy who, what are you, how tall are you? Four six. You're four foot six. Uh -huh. Now, this is, stand up there, uh, Jasmine. This is the girl that you could have sex with in this movie. Stand up. Look at the bot on her, huh? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> now, now uh, if you remember with Vito Howard, it's not the sex he's interested in. It's furthering his acting career. Exactly, right. Thanks. That's I right. see. He's an actor. Yeah. Now, Vito, you're engaged, aren't you? Yes. And you said your girlfriend has no problem with this. No, she listened to the tape from last week, and she was giddy. Now, let me ask you something, really? Annabelle. Would you have sex with this guy? Can you turn around and bend over? <laughs> Would you? Yeah, that's... Oh! oh. Yeah. Keep in mind where you are, okay? <laughs> would you have sex with him? Yeah. You would have sex with him. Yeah. Now, uh, Jasmine, would you? Um, I think what turns me off is the fact that he's engaged. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's the last thing that would turn you off. <laughs> if he's engaged. <laughs> he's you know Jewish. What? Yeah, I, I would. I guess so. Sure. You would, not. really? Yeah. He can be in? He can be in. He can, oh. Now, wait a second. You're going to have sex with Vidu? Why not? I, I don't know, Vito. You're a funny-looking guy. Likewise. You're about as funny-looking as they come. You know that. I mean, you got to know that, don't you? Actually, I like the other guy. What other guy? The other one standing up, the tall one with the red shirt. Oh, this guy here? Yeah. What's your name? My name's Michael. What is that? 
Michael. Mike. Mike. Anything you want. I see. Do you, well, him you like. Yeah. Now, do you have to see these guys pull their pants down or anything? Yeah, I can't pull their Yeah, can you pull your pants down, please? Oh. Uh, hey, yeah. you're going to be in a you're pool. I would do it, but how would you know? Yeah, go ahead, Mike. You're going to be in front of 200 and... Hey, let Mike yeah, get you. Know, Gary, get nine. them over here. Be aware of camera angles and the cheese turned to the side, Gary. Oh. you got to use you your really head a little bit. This, huh? We just want yeah, to see Oh, I'm pierced, by the way. Oh, cool. Oh, just pull your pants down. Nobody needs to... Now, girls, do you want to see these girls naked? Boxes. It's nothing. Let me see. Oh, Jesus, Baba. I didn't do anything. Uh, He's a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a lot nervous. All right, we'll take a whole world. But, but how are you going to be in a porno movie if you can't take your pants off? <laughs> how is that? Do do? Do what do you do for a living? I work at Kennedy Airport. You work at Kennedy oh, Airport? Do you really? Yes. What do you do there? Uh, no, wait a second. Wait, yeah. wait, pull your pants off. Oh, come on, don't. Well, oh, they want to see. The girls want to see. Yeah, right. we want to. I can show come you on. a tattoo. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Oh, come on. Hey, don't don't mess around on that. Come on. Do it. You don't want to drop them off? Oh, see, see, this is this is what, what the problem was in the last movie. Guys chickened out. You know what happened though? In the last Howard, movie, a lot of in front of Howard. That's the problem. Is that That's the problem? It. You oh, think yeah. you could do? You could you could you perform in the movie? You couldn't even I've take your pants off. Subway stations. I've done it. And you can't I could do it here. Imagine. I went through a big phase with there. <laughs> now, Vito, what about you? Can you take your pants off for these girls? Don't worry. Oh, drop them. Drop them. Yeah, come on, go. Vito. He's gonna do it. Oh, I don't want to see this. Vito, Vito, can you do that? He's doing it. Turn around. Let me see. She wants to see your butt. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Vito, Vito, do me a favor. Let me ask you You're going to be able to show your genitals on a camera? Well, then they're not uh, deformed or anything. Maybe a little... I'm saying those girls just asked to see it, and you were embarrassed to show yeah, them. Yeah, both of them were. What's with this? Yeah. I think I'm How you guys show it in front of Jackie? Yeah, but, it's, but what are you going to do in a porno movie? <laughs> yeah. You're Gary, alone. I, I can't help it. Vito's caught up in the microphone. Right. No, no, no. No, what I'm saying is... I don't want to see it. No, I don't want to see it. I don't even want to see it. No, I don't want to see it. Let me see yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. okay, take it I'm easy. I'm not afraid of anything. I'll tell you exactly what happened. What? What? He was not prepared to do that when he first came in, and you gave him a little bit of time to get a little... Uh, all right, that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, all right. Size. Well, Let's see you do it. I don't have any size. I, I totally understand. Right. <laughs> it's got, like, the puppy theory out about yeah, now, to be yeah. honest with you. All right. All right. All right. Why don't you two guys leave for a second? And... So they're both going to be Wait in the second. movie? Can you check my bag at Kennedy Airport, like, if it's excess? I don't really do Oh, bags. too bad. You don't do bags? So are you guys, are these guys acceptable? Computers, to be honest with you. Are these um, guys acceptable? Yeah, they're acceptable. Even Vito? I'm be honest. Yeah, I have a yeah, little bone to pick with Robin, actually. Them. Sir, sir, hold on one second. We're, we're oh, trying to talk here. I can't here. do this. Do you, ha do, do you want to, what, you, you can't reject a guy? Is that I it? I can't, I never do. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so they can both be in it. Yeah, they can both be in it. Why not? It's only for a couple of minutes each. Sure, sure. Uh, and Vito. And I'm Vito. quiet right now. <laughs> and Vito. And Vito, yeah. And Vito, too. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Annabelle, <laughs> please. <laughs> Annabelle, please. Stop now. Stop, stop now for now. Minute. All right. Chuck <laughs> is. All right, guys. Thanks. Esther. <laughs> Amazing. Whoa. You ever kiss another girl? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have you? Have. You have? I had an ex-girlfriend. Let me see you guys kiss. Oh, yeah. That's really sexy. I might just do it right here. Really? <laughs> do me a favor. Now take off your clothes, Jasmine. Maybe it'll loosen these guys up. All right, here we go. Imagine you could have sex with her. Oh, my God. This is a dream come true. You like that? Hell, yeah. <laughs> you like that? Hell, yeah. And you want to be in a porno movie and have sex with her? Oh, yeah. And what she's going to have 300 guys. Hey, it beats my day job. And do you want to be like the third? The, oh, this, my God. You like that body on her, I want to huh? be first, third, fifth, seventh. Now, let me get to the guy in the middle here. You like that, huh? Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. Keep your dress off. That's good. That's a good visual. Yeah. Okay. She's got some body, huh, guys? Oh, yeah. She ain't bad looking at all. I don't have sex with her. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your story? In terms of what? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm 28. Howard. And have you ever been in a porno movie before? No, this will be my first time. Are you afraid your parents will see it or something? Uh, it's unlikely they would. They it's probably, unlikely? They don't really watch And do you have like a that. job? Do you do something for a living? Yeah, I work as an intern in the video industry. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> so in other words, you don't have a job? No, I do. And you, don't, I and you like the way she looks, don't you? I love the Is way Is that the best-looking girl you've ever had sex with? She would be in the top three or four. Yeah. She would. Oh. Wow. Man, she's got some butt. Hey, you know, Jasmine. Yeah, but all of 
these heads. You're telling me in the last movie a lot of guys chickened out. You know, you're probably going to have a high chicken outfit. Is that what happened well, to you, Annabelle? And when you did your movie, the guys chickened out, right? They got a bit shy. They got a bit shy. Yeah. Are you guys going to be shy? Can you pull down your pants right now and show them your genitals? Yeah. You can. Yes. Oh, you can. All right, go ahead. Do that. Do? Yeah, yeah, please. Sure, do that. Come on, do it now. <laughs> you have no problem doing that, right? No. Wow, that's so cool. So he'll probably cool. make it. All right, here, here's a guy. Go, go ahead, it. pull in your pants. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And what'd you do? You shaved all your hair off? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, pull your pants back up. He's shaving? <laughs> He's shaving. <laughs> and you like what you just saw there, Jasmine? Um, I wasn't too impressed. That's not that big, huh? Oh. But you don't I'm want guys. Sorry, do you want me to lie? No, you got to be honest. honest. He's, oh. he's too small. You he, like too small. guys. It, it is but let me ask you something. Size. When you're doing 300 guys in a movie, wouldn't you like to have a, a guy a uh, little small? So you, you, seriously, Annabelle, wouldn't you yeah, like that? Yeah, that's true. Oh well. If you guys think he's small, you should see me. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I would no, die to be that big. A good idea then. Jackie, I've seen you. Idea. Wouldn't you die to be that big? I'm ready to trade places. Yeah, me too. All right, let me talk to this black gentleman here. Uh oh. All right. What do you mean? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jackie. <laughs> ever have any? Uh, ever have a white piece of ass like this? <laughs> oh, you have had that. Yeah, yeah. As good as this? I don't think so, nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's some little body. Black guy either. You've never been with a black guy? No, I haven't. Are you prejudiced against black? No. Because you're practically black yourself. You're very dark skinned, aren't you? I don't know what this. How come I got so dark? It's probably from the tanning bed. Oh, you went to the tanning bed. No, I'm only joking. Actually, this is my natural color. It is, because she's almost as dark as you are, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, you like that though, right? Yeah. You like that. And are you uncomfortable taking your pants down and showing them? Uh, not really. Well, not now. But you wouldn't do it in here, right? I mean, I got ready. I'll be. I'll be ready though. You'll be ready in there. I'll be ready. I won't be. I won't be shy. How do you know it. you'll be ready then if you're not even ready now to do it? No, and I'll this be is ready. in front of three, what, seven or eight people. I'll be ready though. I'll be ready. You'll be able to do it in a room full of 300 strangers. Hmm. Why not? Well, There's you can't one. do it here. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that you're going to show up on the set and you're not going to be afraid to take your pants down and be in a movie, but here you won't take your pants off. <laughs> uh, See, this guy's the only guy, the only legitimate candidate as far as I'm concerned. Way. I'll do it, though. I mean, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. No, no. What do you do for a living? You know what? What? No. You don't want him? I mean, I like this guy because he did it just like he said he would. I like, I, I don't know. What do you do? Me? Yeah, what do you do for a living? I just do music. I'm in a band. He's in a band. Does that change anything? Not really. I mean, if you're going to do it, you do it. If you're going to pull your pants down, do it now. Just yeah. so we know we wouldn't have problems later on. I don't blame him. She's em. trying to break a record. She doesn't need duds. Could you bring Ooh. the whole, yeah, <laughs> bring the whole band? Does. See, she's turned off because you won't pull your pants down. But you won't do it in here. Is that what you're holding to? Yeah. All right. I think gonna, he's you're embarrassed losing, you know. about letting huh? down his you're gonna race. Lose your, you're going to let down your race. <laughs> oh, man. Do it for your race. Uh, uh. You realize if you don't take your pants down, you probably won't be in. All right. All right. He's going, huh? Okay. Now, how come this other guy doesn't have he to take his pants off? He's black guy. Because he's a nice little, man, whatever, man next door type. Oh, I should she see you like him. that. Right. She he likes him. To, right. He's got to maintain like, that. Show everything? <laughs> yeah, she wants, you to, she wants to see your gentleman. But what do you think is going to happen in the movie? Right, you're going to have to do oh, it in I the mean, movie. It'll be the same thing. Right. It'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing. I don't understand guys who come in here and can't take their bottoms off. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't That's take my bottoms off because I'm small. But you wouldn't do it anywhere. Right. I hardly do it in my bedroom. Oh, no. All right. Well, thank you guys. Hey, you All just right. missed out on being in a movie. Whoa! Huh? Can you guys handle that? Take it off again. Take everything off. It was the best of times and the worst. Now here's the next batch of guys. These are the final Hi. set of guys. Come on in, guys. Hi, guys. Stand over there. <laughs> Come on in here, guys. <laughs> Now, the girl standing up here in the brown panties is the girl you'd be in the movie with, guys. Uh, let me talk to you first. I remember you from the other day. What's your story? You look, like a, you look like a serial killer, you know that? That's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yep. Charles yep. Manson's cousin. Charles Manson's oh. cousin. Maybe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> now, uh, Jasmine, what about this guy? Do you like the way he looks? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I noticed you're staring at his crotch. You're going to have to have sex with him in your movie. Now, what about you? Are you willing to take your pants no, off in here? Take your pants down oh, for me. Yeah. I'll go last. Let these guys do it first. Oh, oh really? Deal. How are you going to be in a movie like this? What if you're number one in the movie? 300. No, one. One? Yeah, I already have 300. Look at how, look at how red he is. Yeah. Oh, well, he's nervous. Oh, he's from adorable. Skiing, right? yeah. oh, you like him. You think he's adorable? Yeah, I mean, if you pull his pants down, I've though, Howard, I, I mean, can't. you seen her before? Yeah. She looks like a girl next door, don't she? Oh, God. Do you live, next door? Do you live next door to a whorehouse? I know <laughs> no. Huh? <laughs> All right, so, you, so you're not willing to pull your pants down here. Do you, you want to have a scene in a minute? Something? No. You don't buy dirty magazines? Do you watch dirty movies? 
U.S. pay-per-view? No, your face, though. I know oh, no. Back Never mind. Do you want, do you want to do pickup lines with her? You can have sex with her. <laughs> you want her to pull your pants off right now? Do I want, do you want her to do it for you? Sure. Would that help you? Can I do it? Oh, 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 oh you guys oh. are so scared. Oh, you guys are chicken. Oh, you're so funny. All right, let me talk to this gentleman here. Now, what, what, what are you, Mexican or something? What is your story there, uh, Jose? What are you? <laughs> what are you? Egyptian. You're Egyptian? Yeah. Egyptian? Oh, you don't look it. Can't believe it. Now, you, uh, what are you, Omar Sharif? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, you want to be in this porno movie? Uh, I wouldn't mind. Do you like this girl, the way she looks? I love the way she looks. Look at that. That's nice, mm. huh? Now, are you ready oh, to yeah. perform? Am I ready to what? Are you ready? To, would you be able to pull your pants down in a porno movie? Sure. You would? Yeah. Would you pull them down here now and let's show them? Sure. You will? Hey, yeah. Do it, yes. All right, go ahead. All right, this guy's willing to do it. All right, he needs to look at you a little bit. It's <laughs> guys. Pull down your pants. Let me see. What do you got? Two pair of underwear on? Let me see. Move your hand. All right, he's got a nice size. All right, there you go. They like him? They like him. You like him? Yeah. Him you like? Yeah, him I like. Him. You like him in the movie? Yeah. He's bigger, too. All right, dude, put it back, will you? Now, let me talk to this last guy. Come here, Junior. <laughs> Junior. Come here. You're a big guy. How tall are you? Six foot five. You're six foot oh. five. And what do you weigh about? How many pounds? Oh, about 265. 265, 270. You look like a football player. Were you ever a professional no. football player? No. no. Did you ever play football in high school? I was stupid. Big size like you? You didn't play football? Yep. I was stupid. It's probably tiny on you. Listen, exactly. Six <laughs> foot five. I was blessed with the Irish curse. You know and, what what do you, and what do you do for a living? I work in construction. You work in construction. I'm working a couple blocks away, so what the hell? Let me come down. And you want to be in the porno movie. And you like the way this girl looks. You'd like that. Sex. And you don't mind having sex with her like being number 200. <laughs> mm. No, not really. Uh, but you, yeah. you don't mind. Not I always thought that was kind of gay with you guys, you know, like being this 200th guy, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I thought it was gay being the second guy. Yeah, so do I. Nothing, but, but that's no problem. Well, she looks real good, you, I do it. You could handle her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. No. You could handle her, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. I see. Definitely. Now, can you pull your pants down now? You will not. Why? <laughs> now, how are you nervous? Oh. I'm on the air. I'm nervous. You how could you do it in the movie? No one's going to yeah. see you except us. Well, yeah. And who are you going to tell? Your parents? I mean, come say, on. Jesus. No, on TV just right us. Stop right holding this in front no. of the crotch. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's going to be cameras nervous, you know. there. You're a little nervous. Yeah, of course. But there's going to be cameras there that day. You see, yeah, I don't think you... I have a naked and I know I'm going to get in that, then... Right. Oh, when you know you're going to have sex. All got a exactly. story. You know I they're know. not going to be able to do it. And it's it. usually the same story over yeah. and over, Robin. Yeah. 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 Well. They're not well. going to be able to do it on the day. Let's now, what about, no, what about let, me, the blonde okay. girl let me talk to this blonde guy. guy. Come yeah. over here. Yeah, come on, your turn. The girl baby. Yeah, the girl baby. Yeah, he, he keeps baby. saying how it, he keeps mumbling. That ain't right. That, what isn't right, sir? Not right. Tell me what's not right. What's right? What's wrong? He's what? so red. Look oh. at him. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, windburn. Windburn. Oh, is. What is the story? You will not take your pants down in an audition for these girls? Can't do it. Can't do it. It's against my religion. Take your top off. Maybe then I'll get excited. Go ahead. Take your top off. What are you saying? It's against his religion. Look at this, man. Huh? Can you guys handle that? Take it off again. <laughs> take everything off. Okay, no. You, you, that gets you excited, doesn't it? I would take everything off. You but would? I can't because we're on TV. Well, we'll block it out. You'll block yeah, it Yeah, maybe out? it'll help the guy get loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Take them off. Yeah, take your clothes off. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> take everything off. Wow. Is yeah. Annabelle jumping in? Yeah, everyone's taking their clothes off. I'm taking their clothes off, guys. All right, good. Still won't do it? Wow. Everybody's naked, Robin. Robin, do you have any urge to get naked? No, it's not hitting me. You want to get naked for that? <laughs> Gary, leave your clothes on. Yes. Done deal. Let me ask you something, Howard. Yeah. In the other movie you saw, were all the guys just standing around naked? No. Uh, no. They oh, pulled they their weren't. pants down, though, and you see them naked. Uh huh. So you guys are going to have to get used well, to this. No, no. In the movie, they got naked when they brought them in six at a time. They were completely naked. Right. In front of each other. Oh, yeah. Don't you want that? I love that. What'd you say? Mm. What? Mm -mm. Give me some of that now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you gotta wait for the movie. Yep. Wow. I can't believe you're in porno. I can't believe the both of you are in porno. Is there other ways we could audition now? No. Yeah, well, like how? You guys are, you guys are you guys uh, big pussies. Here. You're afraid. Yeah. Come on. Can you turn around for me, please? Yeah, you turn around for me. Yeah, yeah. you turn okay. around then. I'll turn around. Yeah, yeah see, and she'll do oh. for you. Yeah, turn around. Oh, no. Do you ever kiss another girl? Yeah. If I have. Yeah, I have you? Have. You have? I had an ex girlfriend. Let me see you guys kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really sexy. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, how do you guys, you guys like that? You still don't want to audition. You guys sure you don't want to audition? All right, get these losers out. This guy's in. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in. The other two are out. All right, put your clothes back on, girls, for God's sakes. I'm getting a draft. <laughs>
<laughs> I caught it downwind. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> All righty. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> this Bye, guy can't get, Howard, this guy can't get out of here quick enough. I know. It's like, okay, thanks a lot. Separated the men from the boys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did, I don't know how you figured you're going to be in a porno movie, dude. Oh. Hey. I just wanted to come up and meet you, check the girls oh, out, see what happens. All right. You see how hard it is to get 300 guys? Nice. Yeah, it is hard. I now see where really your problem is. is. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> She's a just a so I'm an exhibitionist. All right. Well, girls, uh, listen, it's an amazing story. Take care, guys. All right, so a couple of the guys got in. Yeah, I'd say about a third of them got in. Yeah. Pretty good. You know, it's terrible because when I go to men's clubs, I actually have to bring applications for guys from actual clubs because that's how hard it is to find 300 guys. We're inviting 800 guys in hopes that 300 out of that show up. You got some body on you, honey. I tell you, I'd love to make love to you, but I tell you, I don't want to be number 300. I don't, I don't. I, number one. Yeah, he could. I don't want to be number one. I mean, you know, girls, are, yeah, it turns me off when you're with too many guys. You know what I'm saying? I like a girl who's got a little mystery to her. Well, then you should have gotten me when I was back in my good days. I would have. <laughs> I like the way you look, I'll tell you that. I'm totally hot for you. Oh, I'm hot for you, too. 300 guys. Right. At $15,000, excuse my math, but isn't that $50 a guy? On a record from your company once before from K-Rock, when you had a, if you had a damaged record, you could write in. Oh, you got that? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. She was like a listener a year ago. Now, now she's, she's doing, in porno. I know. Now she she's doing 300 guys. <laughs> How, what's the time limit for each guy? Um, 10 minutes? No. No, no, for each guy. Oh, for each guy? They have a couple of... It's Second. a couple of minutes. That Does is. each guy have to uh, achieve orgasm in order to count? No. No? No. no. Just actual sex? Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so then it's to two minutes or ecstasy. Hmm. And you're right. out. Or ecstasy. Yeah, but we have a lot of fluff girls. <laughs> so you mean you're telling yeah, me you had ten minutes, those. you have fluff girls who are, like, they get the guys excited and then, uh, and then you finish them off. I see. Yeah. Well, that's an exciting story. Hmm. Okay. Well, listen, uh, I, first of all, Annabelle Chong, uh, congratulations on being the world record holder. Annabelle also wants to promote Yay. that she's working on a documentary right now. Is that yeah, right? Oh, that. yeah. It's, um, direct, it's directed by um, this guy, Cut Golf Lewis, mm -hmm. and he's making um, the story of my life. The story of your life. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought I was special, but evidently everyone's <laughs> doing the story of their life. <laughs> and uh, to Jasmine St. Clair, I'd be a little nervous going into this. I mean, this is 300 yeah. men. Take I your guess. pills or whatever it is you're going to take. Mm -hmm. And we wish you luck. Let us know how it goes. Thank you. I will. When the video's out, we'd like to see it. Annabelle Chong's video is out, and you can see and her. And we'll be looking for the I documentary. Yes, and we'll be looking for the documentary of your life. I don't know where we'd find that, but I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. Where are they following you around? Just everywhere you go? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do all day besides uh, have sex? Um, I go to school. You do? Yeah. What kind of school? Um, I major, double majoring in photography and sex studies. Oh, I see. in sex studies? Yeah. Oh, that, you certainly you could teach the course. <laughs> I don't think you... to say. What yeah. did they teach you? Anybody besides me know of a college that teaches sex studies? Sex studies. What college do you go to? Um, USC. Don't USC. We don't have faculty for it, but I'm allowed to make it my own major. I got to tell you something. I've realized Wait a minute. About... Did you hear that? They don't have faculty. No faculty. She makes it up. Right. That, but let, me, <laughs> let me tell you something. I've been thinking a lot about college because I got kids and someday uh -huh. they're going to want to go to college and stuff. And I've been thinking about it that everyone I know who went to college didn't really, they're not really any better off because they went to college. <laughs> I realize college is highly overrated now because there's something to be said for getting out of high school and just going to work. Well, wait a minute. The statistics do show that people who have a college degree make more money. Because all they do is go there and take gut level courses and do sex study courses and then they get out and all it does is delay going out into the workplace. But they do make more money in the long run. <laughs> there's no reason for that. <laughs> well, unless you sleep with 251 men. Right. Yeah. How much did you get paid for doing that? Oh, well, I have done it for free anyway. You would have done it for free? Yeah. Are you getting paid a lot of money, Jasmine? Yeah. You are? I'm getting paid a pretty decent amount of... Um, like 10 grand or something? No, over 10 grand. 50? Like more than the usual? Um, what was that? 50 grand? No, not 50 grand. 30? Somewhere between 10 and 15. Really? Yeah. And then after that, I'm going to go to Hawaii for two weeks. And chill out? Yeah. I'll be on really good behavior, too. I know the last thing I'll want is to have sex. That poor ocean. They're gonna, they're gonna, it's going to have to wash you out. Is that what you need to no, sit I squat in the ocean? No, I'll be seeing a female doctor two days later after the whole ordeal. You're going to see a doctor two days later? Yeah. A female doctor? Yeah, you know, the female doctor. Oh, the gynecologist. Oh, yeah. oh I, I didn't know if I was allowed to say that on the air. You could say gynecologist. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's the other stuff that people say that okay. gets me in trouble. So you're going to have, um, you're going to do uh, 300 guys. Right. At $15,000, excuse my math, but isn't that $50 a guy? Something like that.
something like that. Yeah, you're worth a lot more than that, honey. Heidi's Let me tell girls you. did better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Heidi's girls did better. You're worth a lot, <laughs> yeah, you're a lot more than that. Thank you. I don't know what your motivation is. I assume it's money. Well, yeah, then what happens is when I headline is where I'll make all my money. I see, because oh, I'll so see you in the movie. Right. promotion. Right. Annabelle, did that help you in headlining? But you did. Uh, I, I don't really do that. You don't do that? I, I've got no time to do it. You have no time to go dancing. Yeah. You're busy with your sex studies class. And sex. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jasmine, you're predicting that there might be some problems after you do 300 guys, and you're going to get on a plane to Hawaii, <laughs> is, the, is the porno company going to send you to Hawaii, or are you just sending yourself? Um, I'm doing it myself. You're doing it yourself. You just need a rest. Have, yeah, actually, I have some frequent flyer miles with some airlines, so I'm going to use up some. And you plan to go there and, what, just squat in the ocean for uh, two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're going to do? That sounds like such a good idea. Now, I'm just going to go there and kick back, look at all the guys, drool, salivate all over myself. Do, you, do they have zucchinis in Hawaii? <laughs> So Hawaii is going to be Hawaii will be the world's largest bidet, won't it, Robin? So you will go there, and then there's a doctor waiting in Hawaii to examine you. No, I'm going to see my doctor before I leave for Hawaii. I see. So. And you walk around on the beach in those little bikinis, showing off that body of yours. Of course I do. And guys must all approach you and uh, want to have sex with you, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't want to have sex then. No, I think you might you be turned off to it. Not, huh? yeah, right. I'll be like, no. Well, maybe. Who knows? Maybe if the guy's really, really cute and he's really. I think after 300 guys, you're going to need to uh, sit on a volcano in order to get feel anything <laughs> down there. But anyway. That's that's just my opinion. All right, good luck to Jasmine St. Clair, or whatever your name is. Who knows? Oh. Right? I'm sure that's a fake name, right? <clears throat> that's a fake name, I'm yeah, sure. Jasmine St. Clair sounds like... that name. Right. Well, St. Clair, well... <laughs> whatever. Yeah, don't explain. Don't explain. Yeah. And Annabelle Chong, uh, who knows if that's your real name, but that's your business. Is that right? Yeah, yes. All right, and good luck with whatever it is, your documentary. And uh, yes, kisses to you too, my dear. <laughs> I'm not a bad looking guy, right? I don't think anybody knows. It's just like when these guys run the four-minute mile. Uh -huh. Nobody ever thought it was possible. Jackie Martling's Sergeant Peer is 78 minutes of wild, dirty jokes on CD or cassette. Oh. Jasmine, good luck with breaking the world record and uh, going for 300 men. I, I, I don't suggest you do this kind of thing, but if you're going to do it, I wish you luck. Is there a yeah. limit? You know, because after, you know, Annabelle says she might try to break the record again after sh after she does 300. Right. right. So do you think there's a limit to the number of men you can do be with in 24 hours? I think, I think it's the, the sort of limit we're trying to find out uh, here. Right. I don't right. think anybody knows. It's just like when these guys run the four-minute mile. Uh -huh. Nobody ever thought it was possible. Right. But they just do it. Yeah. Push the envelope. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's pretty weird to see good-looking girls like this doing that stuff. <laughs> I always figured they had to be pretty ugly, but I don't know. You guys are pretty hot, so... What can I say? I can't figure out the whole story. I just figured somewhere along the line there was abuse or something. <laughs> something must have happened to you really weird. Oh, well, it's just boredom. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. boredom. Annabelle, about how many people pull their pants down? Two, two. people. One of them I molested. So. Yeah, two people. Just two people. So those two are the ones that you want. Yeah. So do you think it's going to be a little hard, though, finding a whole bunch of people who are going to be all the same way? Yeah, but it's better to do that and get the real thing done than... Then have a problem later on? Then have problems when we get there and have to deal with that. Like, oh, uh, he doesn't want to pull his pants down now. Right, it's like, yeah. then why are you here? Yeah. So you think that's what will happen? People will get there and then they won't do it? Uh -huh. Yeah. What happens Wasn't that happen to you, Annabelle? Would people get there and not want to do it? Um, well, they... There, there was a lot of peer pressure, so they went ahead and did it. Oh. They may not, like, get it on, but they just went ahead and did it. I mean, no guy wants to look like a wimp in front of, you know, all these other guys. So there. So do you think you're going to find enough people for this thing? Yeah, I think I'll find enough people for it. It's like I said, we sent out for 800 guys. So far, we've only sent out 400 people we've invited. So maybe this might get pushed back another month, which is going to make me cringe. Yeah. That's my information. Do you think more guys would have sh should have shown up today? Did you have a feeling more guys were going to show no, up? No, I thought there would be less guys, actually. I thought there'd be like three or four guys. Oh, really? So you were glad to see at least this many guys turn yeah, out? Yeah, that was really nice. Was it pleasurable for you, or was it very painful? In all honesty, it wasn't that pleasurable at all. Right. Doing that day, Jasmine. To be honest with you, Howard, I lost track after about... <laughs> yes. <laughs> like 90-something. Bring him in, Gary. This dude was one of the guys who came down here. Oh, we, he came here to yeah. audition. We had a girl on the show. Hey, hey, dude. Yeah, I remember you. 
Hey. Oh, yeah, I, I absolutely remember you. How you doing, dude? Oh, my God, I'm nervous to be here. Look, you already got some kind of AIDS marks on your arms oh, from that movie. Geez. Look at that. What is that? Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> Tape it up. Anyway. Mega, mega dildos to y'all. Schmega. Schmega, schmega dildos to y'all. So, this guy comes down, and there's this girl who came on her show. She was pretty good looking, too, I thought. Oh, man. Real good looking. Hottest piece I touched. Right. Wow. So, anyway, this girl wants to be the star of a she porno movie. She wants to win a contest. She basically is shooting a porno movie where she's trying to top the world's records for having the most amount of guys all at once. And I don't even know who's keeping the statistics. <laughs> the last one was this Chinese broad who had had, how many girls had, I mean, how many guys had she had? She claimed to do 231. Yeah, and I saw the movie. She did 231 guys. Hey, but was that, that was like counted? 70 guys, like three times each or something? Yeah. Uh, exactly. Well, oh, you got. Oh, you mean that's cheating of some kind? So anyway, well, she did seventy guys in a row. I don't care if it's if she did them three times. How long does that take? Uh, yeah. So then this other good-looking girl is down here, and she says she needs guys for this movie. They need like professional porno guys and some amateurs. So guys from our audience who were willing to take their pants down got in the movie. Right. She wanted to check them out. Yeah. Because you showed her your penis that day, right? No, nah, no. Nah, I you was one. Remember, I told you it was too cold out. Oh. I was feeling a little humble about myself. So you went down to the set <laughs> to try to to be one of the three hundred some odd guys who were going to break the world's record, right? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I wasn't even sure if I was going to do it even when I got there. But... Right. So you get in there, and what happens? They, they corral, like, all you guys into one place? <laughs> they started off with really big. It was excellent, because they started off, she comes out, and... And, and, and you, what do you mean? She, you mean you get down there, and they put you in a room? They, there's like 300 guys, like 400 guys. What is it, an auditorium? Yeah, it was kind of, and had a stage going. So okay, she, all right, so where is this, like at a school or something? It was some, like, theater out in Hollywood. Okay. Like out in Los Angeles somewhere. So they take you to a theater. Yeah. All right, and, and there's tons of guys sitting there, and you don't know anyone. No one. Right, and you're sitting there, and uh, did they fly out to Los Angeles, or you had to get there yourself? I get there myself. All right, okay. I was grim, but, you know. And what was your point? You just wanted to have sex, or you want to break into porno movies? I, I don't know, you know, once after my appearance here last time, I started talking it up to my buddies, and they were like, hey, come on, you can't let us down. You got to get out there and get busy with this woman. Right, right. So and she I was and she was pretty, you know, she was pretty good looking. Oh, yeah, she was hot. And was everyone in a good mood when you went out there? Everyone was psyched. Yeah, everyone was psyched to have well, sex. I guys were nervous, but, you know, for the most part, people Mostly were Mostly amateurs up. or... Yeah, but some of these amateurs were nutcases. I mean, you would, you would, they <laughs> might as well be in porno. They're walking around naked with tattoos everywhere. Really? And, like, you were sitting there in your clothes. Yeah, All for right. the last minute. All right, and then, and like, do you get a number when you uh, walk in? Yeah, you go there Saturday and you had to register and, uh... <laughs> See, it's organized. It yeah, they, was, they had it organized. They, oh, my God. It was, they organized it like an Ivan Reitman film, obviously. Uh, but, I mean, do they test you or what? What do you, they you do? Had to bring it, like, you had to bring an AIDS test. You did. Uh -huh. Documentation. I see. And it, that, some documentation. Right, like, you could have gotten that anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, but, you know. And uh, do they hand you a condom as well? That was required. Right, you had to bring them? No, they, they had a bucket of condoms there, like I've never seen. Right, right, right. You know, it wasn't like a 12-pack on a strip. It was like a box. Wow. With like, <laughs> like, like it was the regular Trojan, but I mean, it was a monstrous box, like a milk carton size, a milk crate, just stacked full. Wow. You know, you walk up, you grab yours, and you... <laughs> wow. So you went in, you got your, you, you get your condom, you sign up for this thing. Yeah, you go up Saturday, and right. I tried to get there early. Okay. I figured the earlier, maybe the better, better number. Better number you'd get? All right, you know what? Let me take a break. I want to hear the whole story. I want to know what number he was. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear the whole thing, all right? What's your first name? John. John. Yeah. John Kishmantuk is around? Was that your last name? Uh, close. Yeah, okay. <laughs> take a break. I'm dying to hear the whole story, all right? Calm down, relax, get you something to drink. Nice. All right? See if you got some 7 and 7 back in the office. Yeah. All right, this guy needs a, this guy needs a, this guy needs a stiff Mellow drink. Out. Yeah, right. Almost says what? Good. All right. Okay. Like uh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Whoa. Next. I mean, wow. You know, I felt so cheap and used when I left. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we're talking to the dude who's in that porno movie. Mm -hmm. Or you went down there. All right, so when we last left you, <laughs> this was like about two months ago we had you down here, right? Yeah, it was like five, six weeks. Yeah, that chick was really cute. You know why I, I keep remembering her? I took some photographs of her when she was down here. She was really good looking, really hot babe. Yeah. And uh, she wants to break the world's record for having the most guys in a porno movie. And so you get in there, and the goal was to have her have sex with over 300 guys. Yeah, well, she's shooting for 300. Yeah, and to have sex with them one at a time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what she was claiming, you know, no doubles, no. Because no. the uh, Chinese girl, I saw her film, and she had, like, uh, a guy in each hand. She she was using uh, her uh, mouth. She was using every orifice, and so she went through the 200-something uh, guys rather quickly. Yeah, because she was taking them on five at a time. Right. Each guy wasn't having his own fun. 
Good. So you get in the big auditorium and they hand you a number. What number do they hand you? Uh, well, it was 172. Number 172. Which I figured wasn't that bad at 300. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for the After 100. one, all the numbers are bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, were you there because the girl was good looking or because you really wanted to just be in a movie? Well, yeah. you know, it's a bunch of reasons. I mean, a regular guy like me, I get action, what, three times a year? Right. Are you married? I, I well, I have a girlfriend. I, I after today, who knows? She, right. She listened to. Uh, oh, she didn't know you were going. I told her I went rafting. <laughs> <laughs> in a sense, you in did. In a way, in a way. In a way. So okay, you get down there. You're number one seventy two. Yeah. And you're sitting there. Yeah, and uh, it gets better. And it was great where I came from because. You know, we're hanging out, and, I'm, you know, everyone's talking to each other, and, uh... Does a guy come out with a megaphone and give you instructions? Okay, we're about to begin, guys. The most important thing to remember is that this entire operation today is safe set. The, the opening was great. She comes out, and she starts, like, doing a little strip tease for the whole crowd. Now, this is before they give you any instruction or anything. Well, they kind of, like, you know, I think everyone just kind of knows, like, you know, like, once you get, when, once you get to your number, they kind of guide you up to what you're going to do. All right, so you were number 172. So I'm hanging out way in the back. I, I, right. know I'm, <laughs> I can come back after dinner. And they don't give you any instruction. They just say, here she is, the star of the movie. Well, she comes out, she's dancing around with a couple other girls, and, you know, the crowd goes wild. I mean, right. picture being at scores, and you know you're going to get the woman. Right. 300 mental cases, like, going crazy. Yeah, but you got to have sex. <laughs> Weren't you nervous? You had to have sex on camera, in I mean. Front of yeah, but guy. I knew I had, like, like, probably six hours to wait, so I wasn't, you know, at, at that time, I was okay. Right. And uh, but they started off with like some professionals, some like oh I see. Like, so that you get they, you get the idea of what you're supposed to do. <laughs> to break the ice, I suppose. Well, yeah. So so <laughs> she comes out and what is she wearing? A robe or something? She starts off in like a little mini skirt and high heels, like like you know real hot looking. Right. And she does a little strip tease down to nakedness. Right. And then, you know, the, the guys just, those... Was there a set? Like, I mean, was there a... Yeah, a, a bed yeah. or something? They had this pig bed, and it was made up with pillows and comforter and stuff. It was really? ridiculous. <laughs> and then they had this crazy chair. It was like, something like you see in a psychiatrist's office. Something like, like, it was kind of a recliner, but it didn't have arms. Yeah. So I guess you climb all over it. Really? <laughs> it was, so that was a different check? No, they had it, like, in case you wanted to move around, I guess. Also, in case you wanted to not get her on the bed. Yeah. Because you can get monotonous. Did you, you get to ask where you could have her, or did she choose where? I think you could, but, you know... Did they give you an estimated time? Like, did they? Uh, did they say not, to you, not really like hey d do your business real quick we got to get this thing moving or did they tell Once you to prepare beforehand or? Well, well they had girls there to get you ready oh. yeah. all right so wait a second you're jumping ahead <laughs> so you're sitting there you're number 172 now she does a striptease a couple of professional porno guys come out they start doing her yeah i mean it's like a big scene like and you're watching yeah, everyone's and, going nuts. And how long are they uh, up there with her, you know, while you're the professional guys? The, the pros are up there for, like, pro, I'd say at least 20 minutes. Right, so that's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, they were getting it going, you know, because she was kind of, like, uh, helping one guy along while another guy's taking care of it. So there was a lot of guys yeah, all like, at once? I think there was five of them at once. Five at once. And they all were they good looking? Off. They were, uh, you know, a couple guys looked kind of old. Like, a couple guys looked all right. All right, and then when they get done, they just walk away. Yeah, they just walk away. They put on their clothes. They probably Do get they wear them. condoms? Yeah. They did. Yeah. All right, all right. So, I'm just curious what the scene is. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she performs everything with condoms on. Yeah, that was required, and they had a big, huge bucket of them. Right, even if she's not having actual intercourse, she's still have to wear Even if she's using her hand. Like, before right. you approach her, you gotta, you gotta have it on. Okay, okay. Even with the professionals. Yeah, she made it. I, I don't know why she made them, because, you know, normally they don't. But yeah, right. I okay. guess maybe just... <laughs> just keep it all in one mood. I yeah. guess they were like the training film for these other guys. Right. You know, okay, showing so, us what to do. Right. <laughs> to 20 minutes. They, they could have they gone over... If, with 300 guys, it could have gone into a couple of days if each guy took like, 20 minutes, 30 yeah, minutes. Well, I think they were kind of performing, you know, because once, right. once it got to the, the average man, it, it didn't take so long. All right, so, then <laughs> they, so now they tell you, okay, guys, we're going to move the line along. Do they take breaks and stuff? She took a couple. She did. Uh, after a couple hours, she just stopped, and she just disappeared for about 15 minutes. Right. But, uh... Take a breather. Yeah. The did she seem to be digging it? At first, yeah, the first couple hours. I mean, this thing went on for hours. So you got up there, and were you still excited, or were you? did you lose that sense because... Or they rush you right up? And they took care of it right to the last minute, so you walk up there, and, you know... And you're all ready, and yeah. it's ready to go. The Lights, cameras, action. Yeah, the flags hang at full mass. Okay, and then, and then you did your business? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, uh, so you're in there, and that's it. And, uh, you know, and the next thing you know, like, as soon as you're done, it's, it's just like, you know, you want to hang out and bask in that glow for a minute, but they're just like, hey, dude, Out, next. next. Wow. Mean, you know, I felt so cheap and used when I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So now you're a porn star. Whoa. So you think the guy was making it up? I don't know which gangbang he was at. Right. The one in his dream. <laughs> Jasmine St. Clair is here. Uh, she is a remarkable woman. First of all, she's a beautiful woman. Look at her pictures. Look at, look at that, Robin. Look at the beautiful Jasmine St. Clair. That's her? That is her. 
And uh, as you know, she um, came to us months ago because uh, she was appearing in the movie uh, The World's Biggest Gang Bang 2, the sequel <laughs> to The World's Biggest Gang Bang. As you know, there was a very lovely Oriental girl who took on over... Yes, that, she was the uh, star of The World's Biggest Gang Bang, yes. the first one, right? Yeah, the, the, the Oriental girl, and yes. she took on a hundred some odd men. And uh, Jasmine St. Clair... <laughs> She, uh, was, she wanted uh, to break the record. Yeah, she wanted to break the record, so uh, she needed a whole bunch of guys to go down and have sex with her. So and here she is. And we helped provide them. And we helped provide them. They, they got them from our audience. Here is uh, Jasmine St. Clair. Hey, honey, you're looking good. Thank you. So let me see. Let me see what you're wearing. With a little gold dress. And yeah. Ooh, well, big giant breasts. See you today. I can't hear you, sweetheart. I have a present for you today. The, ah, a t-shirt. The World's Biggest Gang Bang 2, the sequel. I'm Where do you sure wear that? I'll be wearing that. Uh, I'll be wearing that around the house for oh, the kids. Sure. Ah. Howard, there was some guy that called into your show the day after my gang bang. Mm -hmm. I'd like to clear something up now. He was never at the gang bang. If you look closely at the back of that flyer I gave yes. you, there weren't beds and pillows. It was a Polynesian team tiki set, and mm -hmm. I was wearing a long gold gown. I wasn't wearing a short red dress that I stripped out of. So you think the guy was making it up? I don't know which gangbang he was at. Right. The one Maybe. in his dreams. <laughs> How many guys did you end up doing that day, Jasmine? To be honest with you, Howard, I lost track after about... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <gasps> like 90-something. After 90 guys, you just... Were you actually keeping a head count, if, so to speak, was, in, your, uh, <laughs> in your mind? I was you... really trying to. I was trying to do that countdown, but it just... It couldn't happen. Was it pleasurable for you, or was it very painful? In all honesty... It wasn't that pleasurable at all. Right. Yeah, it, it wasn't any fun, huh? Like maybe the first two or three... The first guy was really good looking. There were some really cute guys there. I'll say right, that much. Right, right. The first guy was cute. The last guy was cute. And a few in between, I had three guys thrown out. You, now, now why were three... Why were they yeah, the what criteria? Okay. Now, in other words, each guy who was selected... Uh-huh. Because uh, you weren't too discriminating. I mean, you. I was when it came to the actual date. Your hair looks very nice, by the way. Oh, thank you. I've, oh, so what uh, you're saying is, like, beforehand. Thank you. Did you hear what you just said? My oh, hair looks nice. I'm sorry. Nice. We have to stop for your I'm hair. Sorry. I got a compliment. Yeah, I think Howard is a babe, but anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you something, baby. <laughs> With all due respect, I know you married Howard, but if you. I am not married. Single, you're not? No, I am getting oh a divorce. I am divorced, you? yes. I have and to I give would... you my phone number, Howard. Please. I want you so bad. You don't understand. Really? I do. Oh. You were totally my time. My first boyfriend looks like you, Damien. I mean, he was the perfect guy. He looked exactly like you. Come over here for a second. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Got, can let me I see how we look together as a can couple. Can I take my clothes off? Uh, yeah, please. Oh, yeah, she step feels over here. Take it. Take, can off. you please take that stupid dress off so I can see how we look together as a couple? How tall are you? Five seven. I want to thank Colleen, my uh, hair woman at um, yes, the movie. Yes, been getting tons of compliments. They colored my hair. I look like a million it's bucks. What is that, baby? I love guys with jeans and black sneakers. Well, that's what I have. Wow. I love what you have on. Nothing. You know, you're my type. You have a vagina. Come here. How do we look together, Robin, as a couple? Well, you look gorgeous together. Do really? hey, give me a little hug. Let me see if I like you as a girlfriend. Huh? Turns out I like you. <laughs> oh, yeah. He touched me. Oh, my God. Oh, you're damn right I did. All right, go over there. Being a slut. Go ahead. And I like that. Stop being a slut, you slut. No. I told you to stop being a slut. <laughs> but, yeah. Wow, are you tan? Isn't that great? Is that your natural She's color? She's like a black woman. She's so tan. You are almost Negroid. <laughs> do you no. know that? You are. She's like a black woman. <laughs> She's darker than you, Robin. I see that. I am. Do you have any um, Negroes in your family? No. I, I haven't tanned in like a month now. You have no tan lines. Mm. Beautiful girl. All right, anyway, so you know, let's get back to your uh, fascinating gang story. Gang let's get back to gang bang. Okay. Gonna there were certain criteria. So when you say you want to date me, though, I don't understand something. Is that because I'm on the radio no, and I have a powerful... No, nothing like no. that. No, it has nothing to do with it. I like So he could just give this are. all up and give all of his money to his wife. And you would still be with me? Of course. You I would. I once say you to the guy who still him. lived at home with his parents. He had a lot of money at one point. Right. And something happened that was very unfortunate. And I still went out with the guy because I liked what he had inside of his... How do I know you're uh, sexually safe? I mean, the, the AIDS virus could have infected you during the gangbang. It did, gang because bag. everyone had AIDS tests. They all had condoms. Yes. And I didn't allow these guys to have any kind of oral contact with me. One guy walked up to me and started grabbing my breasts and trying to kiss me. I'm like, back off. We are not on a date here. Is this that is one of the guys you threw out? Yeah. So, so the guy's offense was that during the gangbang, he tried to kiss you. He tried to have oral contact, which is not allowed. And then another guy tried sticking... 
He, he tried to he tried to use his finger on you? And they weren't allowed to do that either. Mm -hmm. And he tried they gave them manicures still, just in case anyone touched me. So in other words, a man uh, all he could do was penetrate you with his uh, genitals, and that would uh, be the only way that he could be with you. And if a man tried to use his hand or anything like that, he would be thrown out. And this one guy tried to kiss he did you. It to try to, I mean, the guy just grabbed me so hard in my chest. I felt like a, oh. I was about to have an accident, like it would burst. Like, and your, like your breast implant would yeah. burst. Yeah. Yes. And I That's got very hard. scared. Right. So you had one guy thrown out for grabbing your chest and kissing you. Another guy for trying to use his finger on you. Right. And then what was the third guy thrown out for? He was thrown out for just talking really bad stuff about me to the press because I didn't want to touch him because he was picking his nose and eating it. Ew. Oh. The was guy, very let me, let me understand something. The guy came up to have sex with you <laughs> for the movie. He was and he standing aside, pick his... picking his nose and eating it. He was standing aside over there. I'm wow. like, there's a time and a place for everything, and this is not the time. I don't even and know that there's a time the and a place for eating your own burger. <laughs> I don't even know that there is a time and place. He could have done it in the bathroom. But, I mean, I just don't think it's appropriate to kiss in a film. If you've seen my movies, I don't kiss the guys I work with because kissing is too intimate. That's what you do with your boyfriend. So, in other words, you would kiss me as your boyfriend. I would. Yeah, and we would have soul and kissing. And, uh, like, really? Now, well, let me ask you something. As a, as a, but, I'm, you know, I'm a little nervous to make love to a porn star and I'll tell you why I would think that you've had so many men and you've had so much experience that I, I would bore you no, I, I, I mean, that's not the case at when all. is the There's last time you had sex when is the last time you had sex with <laughs> a guy pleasure? for pleasure two weeks ago all right and, and I do not compare these guys to the guys in the film to be honest with you Howard and I'm saying this I don't care if my co-workers hear it because I'm an honest down-to-earth person what happens on camera, I never remember. These guys are nothing to write home about. I'll right, tell you that right, right now. What is something to write home about is what happens off camera. Romance. Actually making love, romance, holding the guy, hold the guy, holding the girl, caressing her, and doing everything. Is it hard for you to find a boyfriend because guys are nervous around a uh, porn star? No, they, it's not that. It's just I. There's just certain qualities in men that I look for, and I just.